What's the word, y'all? It's Davion Seen in the back with another video. If you're new, hit that like and hit that subscribe button. Tonight, we're going to be doing a quick review on the movie Smile that got released on Friday. I went to see it yesterday, and today, I'm giving my quick review on it. Now, overall, I'm just going to get straight into it. Overall, I thought this movie was a solid horror movie. Now, I know there's a lot of horror tropes in this movie as far as the jump scares, even though some of the jump scares were effective. Some of them were done in a way that... Okay, this can work. And then some of them were done in a way where I was like, oh, I've seen this before. But overall, it was a solid horror movie. Now, Smile is about a therapist who sees her patient commit suicide based on this horror entity that's been haunting her. And this horror entity so happens to be this monster that has a smiley face. I'm not, I can't really curve her. But anyway, it has a smiley face. And just the way... This smiley face, like the way these people smile in this movie is done in such an incredible yet creepy way. And I, I mean, just imagine you waking up and then you just see someone like, you know what I'm saying? And, it, you, you know, it's going to creep you the fuck out a little bit. Now, in the beginning of the movie, we get everything. We see everything all set up. It gets right into it. I mean, if you've seen the movie... Um, you know what I'm talking about. I'm not going to go too deep into spoilers because I'm not that kind of guy unless y'all want me to, but I'm not going to do that for y'all. You know what I'm saying? I'm, you know, I'm a bit, you know, I'm not an asshole. Okay. But I do like how the title card, title card popped up in the movie and it already let us know what was about to go down in this movie. Now I have to give my flowers. Yes, my flowers to Sosi Bacon. We now we already know that she is the daughter of Kevin Bacon. Now Sosi Bacon, we already know, man. You know who her daddy is, man. So that acting stuff definitely got passed on because the way she did her performance in this movie as this real distraught, depressed um, person who someone who's been really traumatized i'm like yo she was doing it i mean i'm just talking about the mannerisms the characteristics the way she was carrying herself as if she was really traumatized and she gave a hell of a performance throughout this whole entire movie now i have to give some credit to jesse t usher he did his thing even though we didn't really see much screen time from him but he did his thing as a supporting co-star now the cop on the other hand, he was also a good supporting co-star, but Sosie Bacon, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> excuse me, Sosie Bacon, she definitely understood the assignment. Now, one thing that stood out to me, excuse me, man, I still have this cold. <coughs> Sorry, I still have this cold. But anyway, the one thing I definitely enjoyed about this movie was the sound design. Now, the sound design was very unique i'm talking about it had you on edge you like some stuff you didn't even hear before and i noticed with a lot of modern horror movies now especially in the trailers they have these sound designs that are really creepy but now they stand out more you know what i'm saying it's like you can remember these sound designs in the future they're going to be remembered as classics you know so don't sleep on them now another thing that i liked about this movie was not only the sound design but the film, the cinematography, the cinematography was crazy. I liked how the camera angles and the coloration and coloration and the saturation had just set up certain horror aspects that had you, that had the hairs on the back of your neck standing up. You know what I'm saying? You know, and the music, the, 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 the score, it just had, it was just a well-packaged movie. Now, I did notice a lot of horror tropes in this movie that had me like, okay, I've seen this before. But for the most part, most of the jump scares were effective. They were done in a unique way. And we can say that outweighs, the good outweighs the bad in this, in this part. But now... I did see some parts in the story where it kind of kind of was like, okay, so you're dragging just a little, just a little bit. I won't spoil anything, but it made up for it at the end with the final conclusion or the events leading up to the final conclusion. Those final um events, man, had you at the edge of your seat because you was waiting for for the punch. 
you know, you was expecting some kind of plot twist. And then when she was putting two and two together and adding everything up, you already knew if you watched the movie. You already knew that, okay, we already know what time it is, all right? Now, in the final act of the movie was very rewarding when you had, I was like, yo! Now, I'm not going to spoil that for you because I'm not that kind of guy, but you have to watch the movie to understand what I'm talking about. And if you watch the movie, you uh, you definitely understand what I'm talking about and how that shit had you scared straight. I'm talking about like, yo, I did not expect that. And that's what I like about horror movies. That's why I don't like when trailers just put everything in the in the in the uh in the trailer because you take away the suspense, you take away the surprise, you take away the uh the, the things that were supposed to be earned. You're giving it to us early, too early. So now we go in here, we can't really anticipate anything. And with this movie, it didn't really give us much synopsis. In the movie trailer, it gave us just enough so that when we went to go see this movie, we could see something and we can get a treat at the end. And that's exactly what this movie did. Overall, this movie was a solid horror movie. I enjoyed it. I actually like the direction that horror movies are going in. And, you know, we like to say, we like to have our opinions about Hollywood and about how Hollywood is forever saturating us with all this crap and remakes and all this. But it is still progressing and I'm happy for it. I'm here for it. Sosie Bacon definitely did her job and her performance. Um, the acting was there. The um, the atmosphere, the, uh, the suspenseful atmosphere was there. The, um, the sound design was definitely there. It's just overall... I have to give this a 4.5 eyes out of 5 eyes. Yes, that's my honest opinion. And as far as the regular view, a review, I have to give this an 8 out of 10. Solid movie. And this would definitely be going into my collections of I'm going to watch again. And I definitely will give it my second viewing. Anyway, that's my quick review for Smile. Y'all let me know what y'all think in the comments. Hit that like and hit that subscribe button. And I'm about to hit y'all. Y'all be easy and take y'all asses to bed.